Would you trust an AI to control your computer? Anthropic has released a new feature for its cloud chatbot called Computer Use. This feature lets cloud control your computer just like a person would. It can move the mouse, type on a keyboard and click on a screen. Using this feature, Cloud can do tasks across different apps like searching for files, filling out forms, or even designing web pages. Anthropic says this feature is still experimental. Even during their demo recordings, they encountered some amusing moments. In one instance, Cloud accidentally stopped the long running screen recording, losing all the footage. Later, Cloud took a break from the coding demo and began browsing photos of Yellowstone National Park. Cloud can now open Firefox, do a web search, write a code, save and run it. It works by taking screenshots as it goes, navigating different apps and using the mouse and the keyboard. Cloud can also gather data, fill in spreadsheets, pull information from websites and work with different web platforms. Cloud sometimes struggles with actions that need very precise movements, specific clicks or complex planning. Every new innovation brings both opportunities and risks. Cloud could download malware or leak data due to cloud storage. Anthropic suggests using virtual machines and limiting data access for safety. Developers also need to be careful of prompt injections where outside content tricks cloud into doing something unintended. This feature is a part of a larger plan to make AI systems that can work independently in real-world situations. For now, this feature gives us a glimpse of what AI might be able to do in the future. This update shows a shift in how AI can interact with computers, moving beyond just text generation to taking real actions. Anthropic seems to be strongly trying to rival OpenAI. They rate it better on several benchmarks, and the view that Cloud is better at coding is quite widespread. This move to release an agent-like solution earlier also appears to be a strong jab at OpenAI. So what do you think? Would you feel comfortable letting AI handle tasks on your computer? What do you think what will OpenAI answer for this? Are facial motion capture rigs slowly becoming obsolete? Runway has introduced a new tool called Act1, which could change how filmmakers and animators create character animations. With just one camera, Act1 can capture facial movements, removing the need for expensive motion capture rigs or complex manual animations. This breakthrough means creators of all skill levels can make high-quality, emotionally realistic character animations. The strength of Act1 is its ability to capture small facial movements like eye direction or subtle expressions and turn them into realistic animations. This keeps the emotional depth of the actor's original performance even when the animation is applied to different characters. This makes it easy for filmmakers to combine traditional acting with AI-generated content while still keeping it realistic. Another cool use case for Act 1 is to create scenes with multiple characters having a conversation. With just one actor and a basic camera, creators can animate multiple characters, which makes it easier for indie filmmakers. For example, Act 1 can generate extra characters like passengers in a car from footage of just one actor, which helps make group scenes without a big budget. I think the future of AI video generation tools is about two important things. One, ensuring consistent characters. Two, giving creators more control over their projects. Unlike earlier tools that made characters look stiff and unrealistic, Act 1 captures detailed expressions, keeping the emotional impact of the actor's performance. This is great for indie filmmakers. Runway also mentioned future updates like making video from a single photo, which could open up even more creative possibilities. It's worth noting that the live portrait model offers similar capabilities and it's available for free. While it may be slightly less user-friendly, it delivers comparable quality. You can try it on a hugging face and it's quite easy to get the hang of. Runway's Act1 feature is gradually rolling out and is expected to be available to all users in the coming weeks. Do you think tools like Act1 will change filmmaking for indie creators? With the new Ideogram features, do you still need Photoshop? Ideogram, the Canadian AI image startup, has launched a new feature called Canvas. Canvas gives users an endless workspace where they can adjust, expand and combine images smoothly. 
it has advanced tools like Magic Fill and Extend. Magic Fill lets you change specific parts of an image, like replacing objects, changing backgrounds or fixing small issues with simple prompts. Extend lets you expand an image beyond its original size while keeping the same style, perfect for resizing or adjusting compositions. The remix feature also got an upgrade, allowing for partial remixes, which gives even more editing options. Compared to similar tools, ideograms stand out by doing a great job of putting text on images. This is especially useful for content creators who need high quality visuals with text. Plus, the ability to upload and edit personal designs makes Ideogram a versatile tool for industries that need precise and customizable images. Ideogram offers different subscription plans. Canvas is available for all users, but free plan users can only create two canvases and can't use tools like Magic Fill, Extend or upload their own images. The Plus and Pro plans give users unlimited canvases, priority image generation and a full set of editing tools. As AI tools like Ideogram's Canvas advance, we might not need specialized software like Photoshop in the future. One powerful AI could handle all tasks like photo editing, color correction or even creating new visuals. We might even see a general AI capable of managing all creative and technical tasks effortlessly. Can Stability AI regain its place in open source image generation? Stability AI has released Stable Diffusion 3.5, an updated version of its generative AI models with three options, 3.5 Large, 3.5 Large Turbo and 3.5 Medium. Each model is aimed at different needs, whether it's creating high quality images or getting faster outputs. The 3.5 large model has 8 billion parameters and is made for professional users who need detailed, high resolution images. It's designed to follow prompts closely to create precise visuals. The Turbo version tries to keep this quality while generating images faster, which is helpful for users who need quick results. The medium model, which will be released on the 29th of October, is a more balanced option with 2.6 billion parameters. It's made for consumer hardware, providing a good mix of quality and accessibility. Stability AI says all models are customizable and available under a community license, free for non-commercial use and business making less than 1 million a year. The company has made some changes to the model's architecture like adding query key normalization, which makes fine-tuning easier. However, Stability AI admits that outputs might vary more if the prompt isn't detailed enough, which means users need to be specific for consistent results. One strength of this model is its diversity. Stability AI says that the new models can represent a wide range of skin tones and features without needing lots of extra prompting. This addresses an issue seen in earlier models. Stability AI acknowledges that not everything is perfect. Earlier versions like Stable Diffusion 3 Medium were criticized for artifacts and not following prompts well. Stability says that they worked on improving these issues, though some design choices might still lead to mixed results. There was likely panic at Stability AI when the poor anatomical results from Stable Diffusion 3 became fast spreading memes. To make matters worse, the model was banned from Civit AI, prohibiting its use on the platform, adding to the troubles, the overwhelming success of Flux AI didn't help their situation either. It seems they tried to improve their image by bringing James Cameron onto their board and are now aiming to release a high quality model with a very permissive and easy to understand license. The open source nature of Stable Diffusion 3.5 is promising for community driven improvements. Fluxman Dev is more restricted, but Fluxman Schnell is more permissive. SD 3.5 space model allows customization and merging with other models to make specialized versions. Do you think Stable Diffusion 3.5 can overcome its current challenges with anatomical accuracy? What improvements would you like to see in the future versions of Stable Diffusion? Can we perform all text-to-speech tasks using open source tools in the future? Let's talk about 
F5 TTS, a new text-to-speech model from Sweeweed that's been getting some posts on Twitter. What sets it apart? It's non-auto-regressive design and use of flow matching with a diffusion transformer. This setup simplifies things by padding text inputs instead of using complex models, fixing issues like slow training from older models like E2 TTS. F5 TTS is fast, with a real-time factor of 0.15, meaning it only takes 0.15 seconds to generate one second of speech. This makes it quicker than many other diffusion-based TTS models, perfect for tasks that need real-time or fast audio generation. It supports Chinese and English and adds emotions to speech seamlessly. A standard feature is its ability to clone voices using as little as 15 seconds of audio while maintaining emotional tones like sadness or anger. It's trained on a 100,000 hour dataset in both Chinese and English, making it efficient for real-world use in these languages. Compared to models like E2 TTS, F5 TTS shines with its emotional depth and quick voice adaptation. With the help of Pinocchio, we can easily install and try it out with just a few clicks. In addition to its strength in displaying more lifelike emotions, it also features a podcast mode where we can listen to a conversation between two people. Mark, what, what, what you've done with Meta is mind-blowing. Uh, you've connected billions of people and pioneered the social media space in ways no one else even thought possible. Your ability to anticipate trends and move the whole industry is, is incredible. Thanks, Elon. Mm. But let's be real, SpaceX has completely redefined space travel. You've not only broken barriers, you've set the stage for humanity to become multiplanetary. The level of ambition and execution is something the rest of us can only dream of. I appreciate that, but your leadership in AI development at Meta is next level. You're shaping the future of how we interact with technology and each other. And by way, your skills in jujitsu are impressive. Discipline like that shows in everything you do. That means a lot coming from you, Elon, but you're balancing multiple companies, ex exploring space, advancing AI, and still kicking butt in kickboxing. Your ability to push boundaries in every arena is unmatched. It's inspiring to everyone. I mean, uh they gave Claw the mouse, keyboard the screen. Moving like a hacker, but with no in between. Files, forms, and fills, web searches on the go. But trust an AI, that's a bold show. Accidentally stops, finds Yellowstone too. Making moves, but wouldn't mess with you. And topics flex, rivaling open eye. Coding, navigating while we watching a try. Download, spread.